Simple interest is a quick and easy method of calculating the return on an investment or interest charged on a loan. However, sometimes we know how much interest we have or want, and we want to determine how much was invested or borrowed, which is the principal, or we need to work out what interest rate is needed to earn a certain amount, or you might want to know how long we need to invest a certain amount for. That's what we're going to look at in this video. If you need to know how to calculate simple interest, please revert to my simple interest video. Remember from my simple interest video that interest is the amount paid to an investor by a financial institution for investing money with them. It's also the amount paid by a borrower to a lender for money lent to them. Simple interest is calculated each year as a fixed percentage of the original principal. The amount remains constant for the duration of the investment or the loan. In my simple interest video, we reviewed two different formulae for simple interest. We'll use them both again. Remember the main difference is that the formula on the left includes the conversion of the percentage interest rate to a decimal in the formula, which is R on 100. The formula on the right assumes you've already done this and you're including it as a decimal in the formula. Here we have the simple interest formulae. We can use these formulae to solve for variables other than interest if you're confident with algebra. Alternatively, we can use the rearrange formulae. I'll show you how to derive the formula for finding the principal here. On the formula on the left, we multiply by 100 first. On the right, we convert our interest rate to a decimal. Then we divide the first formula by R and the second one by I. Finally, we divide the first formula by T and the second formula by N. And now we've rearranged the formula to find P, which is the principal. In addition to finding the interest or principal, we might also need to find the interest rate or the time. Again, you can use the original simple interest formula if you're confident with your algebra. Alternatively, you can use the rearranged formula that I've included here. Today, I'll be using both formulae, but it's up to you which one you decide you'd like to use. Let's look at an example. Over a 48 month period, $1,600 interest was earned on an investment at 8% per annum simple interest find the original amount invested. So we're looking to find P, which is the principal. We had an interest rate of 8%. The time is 48 months. We're going to convert that to years. So that's divided by 12, we get four years. And the interest was $1,600. We previously derived the formula for finding the principal, which is the interest times 100 divided by the interest rate times the time. So we substitute those values into our formula. And we can put it into our calculator and we find the original amount invested would have been $5,000. Here we have another example. In five years, 3,900 interest was earned on an investment at 6.5% per annum simple interest. Find the original amount invested. Again, we're looking for P, which is the principal. The interest rate is 6.5% per annum. If we're converting this to a decimal, it's 0.065. N or time is five years, and the interest is 3,900. Here we're using the formula where we've already converted the interest rate to a decimal. The formula is the principal equals the interest divided by the interest rate as a decimal times the time. And we get 3,900 divided by 0 0.065 times five. Put that into our calculator and we get $12,000. So the original principal invested is $12,000. Let's look at another example. Robert borrowed $1,860 to buy a computer. He'll pay $71.30 per month for 30 months. Find the simple interest rate on his loan. So this time we're looking for R, which is the interest rate. The principal is $1,860. The time is 30 months. Converted to years, we divide by 12 and we get 2.5 years. This time we've got to find the total payments. So we multiply $71.30 by 30, which is the total months he borrowed the money for. And we get the total payments are 2,139. Now we need to work out the interest. So we know the total payments were 2,139 and the principal was 1,860. So we subtract the principal from the total payments and we get the total interest paid is $279. Now we're looking to find R, which is the interest rate. We can use the formula where the interest rate is converted to a percentage for us within the formula. We substitute in all the values we have there and we calculate and we get this interest rate is 6% per annum. Here we have another example. 
Josh invested $2,400 in the bank for five years. He makes $9.20 in interest each month. Find the annual interest rate. This time we're going to use the formula where we convert back to the percentage from a decimal. So we've got principal is 2,400. The time is five years, which converts to 60 months. Total interest is $9.20 times by 60, so $552. Now, we've got the formula, the interest as a decimal equals total interest divided by principal times the time. We substitute in our values and we get the interest as a decimal is 0.046. We need to multiply that by 100 to find the interest rate. The interest rate is 4.6%. You invest $2,500 for a period of time at 8% per annum and earn $50 simple interest. How long did you invest for? Principal is $2,500. Rate is 8%. Time is what we're trying to find this time. The interest is $50. Here we have the simple interest formula. We can substitute the values, like I said earlier, into the simple interest formula without rearranging it. And we get 50 equals 2,500 times 8 on 100 times t. And that simplifies to 50 equals 2,500 times 0 0.08 times time. And we divide both sides by 2,500 times 0 0.08. And we get the time equals 50 divided by 2,500 times 0 0.08. And we get time is 0 0.25 years. I'm going to convert that into months, so 12 times t, that's 12 times 0 0.25, and we get the time is three months invested for. Let's look at how long it would take to earn $4,760 interest from an investment of $16,000 at 8.5% per annum simple interest. We're trying to find time again. The principal is 16,000. I is 8.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.085. The interest amount was 4760 The formula is time equals interest earned divided by the principal times the interest as a decimal. And we substitute the values into the formula. And we calculate we get 3.5 years. And this converts to three years, six months. In summary, we can use the original simple interest formula if we're confident with our algebra. Alternatively, you can use the rearrange formulas to find the principal, the interest rate, or the time. And that's it for this video. Thank you.